All right, Shalom, Shalom. I'm going to give our praise out for now. Yahab, Bashem, Mashak, Yahushah, Bashem, Rakakadash. Peace and blessings to all the blood ones baptized in this new covenant for the remission of sins, man. Ages. Ages. And uh, today, man, I want to go into basically, man, we no longer uh, under the law of Moses. Right, we're no, hey, beloveds, we're no longer under the law of Moses, beloved ones. I got something for you today, beloveds, God damn it. I got something for you, beloved ones, today, baby. We're no longer under the law of Moses according to what? The ministration of death according to what? Uh, basically stoning one another, man. Right, which other beloveds had already brought this out in their lessons, man, and peace be uh, multiplied unto them. Right, so yes, man, beloveds, you know, we're no longer under the law of Moses according to what? Stoning and, and uh, bringing forth the judgments upon one another. This is why um, we no longer what? If you see somebody that's a sodomite, you don't stone them to death, but you know that that sin is still wrong, beloveds. And that's the whole point of uh, <laughs> that we're not under the law, but we are under the law thing. That's the confusion on that, man. The confusion is, we don't execute the judgments written in the law. We're not under uh, the law to execute the judgments that are written therein, but we are under the law to tell you where you wrong at, man. And that's what the scripture says, What uh, by the law is the knowledge of sin, man. This is why we don't stone one another no more because the Lord, Hamashiach, I was shot about the new covenant so you can receive grace and mercy. So you don't get your head bashed to hell in, man. <laughs> so you don't get a damn head bashing. This is why he brought that new covenant, that grace, man. All right, so you have time to repent before he come back for this resurrection judgment to bring forth uh, everlasting judgment, man. All right, whether you're going to receive everlasting life or uh, uh, everlasting shame and contempt. All right, so yeah, man, we no longer condemn our beloveds uh, with the law of Moses as in stoning one another. We don't do that, right? All right, neither uh, do we have the power to put somebody to death. So that shows you the Lord is showing grace. And so that proves that just because the Lord is showing grace, does that mean we can sin against the Lord now? And I got some examples on that, how um, that the law is still in effect, right? We just can't execute those judgments, man, of what stoning one another. Okay, so let's uh, let's probably start it off with Paul. Paul said, let, let us not can... Can uh did he say let us not condemn one another? That's what I want. Let us not. That's what I want. Let us not condemn one another. We don't have we're not uh trying to see our brother get destroyed. Hamashak Yawashah said the son of man is not coming to destroy man's lives but to save him. And uh that's why we tell our brothers to repent. So what you don't fall into the category of Hebrews 10 and 26, which is dealing with uh you not being justified by the blood of the new covenant. See that this is why Paul said this is why we we try to present every man perfect in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Just like the Lord Yahweh Shai said in Matthew what 5 and 48, be ye perfect as your heavenly father is in heaven, man. And he, he quoted right that right that out the law of Moses, man. He quoted that same law that be ye perfect from Moses, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. So you're you're uh trying to become a God, beloveds. You do have to strive for perfection if you want to be a God, man. All right. Unless you want to be a wicked God like Satan and be a sinful God, all right? For the devil sent it from the beginning, right? Or do you want to be like uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, a God without iniquity? Hey, I'm trying to be like the Lord, baby. The Lord said he's a God without iniquity. See, Elder Tahar said, hey, man, I'm trying to be like Elder Ariyah. Well, I'm not trying to be like Elder Ariyah. I'm trying to be like my Heavenly Father, Abba Yah, all right? And he's a he's a, he's a a rock, uh, and a, he's what he says, a rock of offense, and a God without iniquity, man. All right? Just like Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, man. Who knew no sin. Okay? So we we don't condemn our brothers unto death and destruction. That's like if I see a, a, a woman that might have been a whore. You know what I'm saying? You don't uh, go get the gleasy and, and slime her out or go stone her. No, man. We pray that you repent and you change your ways. This is why the Lord Yahweh Shai says to repent and be baptized uh, for the remission of sins, man. Okay, call upon the name of the Lord and, and repent and be baptized into this new covenant with holy with holy water and holy fire, man. Okay? Cleansing your body with water and, and fire. 
All right, cleansing the body with water and the spirit with fire, man. Even Paul said, let us have our bodies washed with water, man. All right. So we have to what? Wash away our sins and Hamashiach Yahweh with his word, man. Okay. So we no longer condemn our brother unto death and destruction uh, with, with, with the law to stone one another and execute those laws. We don't do that. We scatter and you can't even do that among the Gentiles. So, you know, it's it's unlawful to do that among the Gentiles, but it's, it's lawful in our laws. Just like what? Uh, the polygyny thing is lawful in our laws, but it's frowned upon among the Gentiles. See that? Because it's not, a lot of them, ain't, this ain't their heritage, man. So, or, or any other, you know, various laws, man. Okay? So we have uh, Leviticus. No, not Leviticus, lock it. We have uh, 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 Romans 14 and 13. Let us not therefore judge one another anymore. So is Paul saying don't rebuke? No, because there's other reverses where Paul tell you to dim that sin rebuke before all. See that? So Paul was still out there rebuking sin. Wait a minute, baby. Wait a minute. We ain't no laws, baby. If it ain't no laws, why the hell would Paul be rebuking people? That means he's accusing people and they ain't even did no sin. <laughs> so that's nonsense. All right. So you can still sin, you can still be a sodomite, all right, among the Gentiles. This is why they have to repent, man, okay? But this is why the Lord executed uh, long-suffering and repentance, man, because an evil, because an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the sons of man is set to do evil. See that? Because the Lord ain't out here stoning shit like he was in the old covenant. This is why people don't fear the Lord. Now, if we was out here busting niggas upside the head with stones, niggas would fear immediately. See that? That's why it says because a, a sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the hearts, the hearts, which your new covenant, hey, you're supposed to be in your heart. The hearts of the son of man is set to do evil. See that when you don't have the new covenant in your heart and the Holy Spirit, you're always dwelling on doing evil. You're in the damn flesh bugging the hell out. See that? But when you have the Holy Spirit... You're not uh, under the law of, 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 of being stoned to, to, to destruction and sinning against the Lord. You're not under that. You're under the Holy Spirit. You're under obedience. You're under faith, righteousness, godliness. All right, so it's let us not therefore judge one another anymore, but judge rather this, that no man put a stumbling block. See that? We don't put stumbling blocks before our brothers. We don't uh, condemn our brother and stone him. All right? We tell our brothers to repent in and, uh, and the Mashiach, was shy. We never tell them uh, we're going to bash you upside the damn head with this damn, this rock, Ock. We, we don't do that. Okay? So don't put stumbling blocks on in your brothers, man, which don't, like, li literally, we don't stone one another. And spiritually, you don't stone one another, all right? Trying to get a brother destroyed, all right? And the way you can get your brother destroyed is Hebrews 10 and 26. So make sure you follow in that Hebrews 10 and 26, man. Cause that's a heavy scripture from Paul, man. So he's not saying don't don't uh correct each other no more. Cause obviously Paul was still correcting the Gentiles. What he's saying is condemn them unto destruction, meaning you have time to repent, so you better damn repent. Okay, you have grace, you have that grace to repent. Okay, just like the woman, we gonna get the woman, we gonna get the woman, man, that was caught in adultery, man. So let's get it. It says, John 8, 1, it says, Jesus, Yahweh Shai, right, went into the Mount of Olives, and then early in the morning he came again into the temple. And all the people came unto him and sat down and taught them, right? And the scribes and Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in adultery. They, had, they showed a woman. She was going off according to the law of Moses, bugging the hell out, right? And when they had set her in the midst, right, so they brought the woman that was caught in adultery to Yahweh Shai, they say unto him, Master, this woman was taken in adultery in the very act. Now Moses and the law commanded us that such should be stoned. But what sayest thou? See, this is the Lord bringing in the new covenant. He's bringing in the grace, all right, that you can what? Repent so you don't be destroyed. All right? And this is what we push, man. We push the uh, truth with grace, right? The scripture says, by grace and truth, by mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. And that's what the Lord did. He told that woman to keep the commandments, follow the truth. And uh, he showed her mercy, man. All right. You got to come up out of that. That's why you have to be taught the laws. All right. So you can know not to do it anymore.
And if you do it willfully, you finish. All right. Now, Moses and the law commanded us that such should be stoned. But what sayest thou? This they said, tempt to him. They was trying to see if, if he was going to execute the judgments in the law. It's right. If he was quick to condemn, Hamashach wasn't quick to condemn. He said, the son of man is not come to destroy man's life, but to save him. So that's the spirit we got to be in. We're not here to destroy each other, man. All right. If that spirit come upon beloveds, then, you know, that's a demon, man. All right. And that's what you sin and willfully. All right. So um, this is John chapter eight, verse five. Now Moses and the law commanded us that such should be stoned. But what sayest thou? This they said, tempt him, that they might have to accuse him. But Yahweh stooped down and with his finger wrote on the ground as though he heard it did not, man. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin, he that is without sin, right? Anybody that uh, don't fall short, you, right? He that uh, don't fall short, right? He that's uh, keeping the commandments without falling short, right? He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. So Hamashiach Yawashah said, hey, he never said don't throw the stone at her, beloved ones. Do your homework on him. He didn't even say don't, 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 don't hit her with a damn rock. He never said it. He said, uh, whoever, whoever's without sin, hey, you can, you can cast that stone at her. You can keep the law of Moses. <laughs> All right. So, but what? We not, we not stole to one another, but he did say what? He that is without sin among you, let him first cast the stone at her. My shock was going crazy. So basically he was saying, right, the beloveds that's keeping the commandments, they have the power to uh, judge, man. All right, but what? We're not uh, uh, here to do that, man. We came to bring mercy and grace, man. All right? And also, what? We all fall short. This is why the Most High had it set up to where we all fall short so we can't stone one another. That, what? You will have the grace to, to uh, repent. And again, he stooped down and wrote on the ground. And they which heard it being convicted in their, by their own conscience, right? Because they knew they fell short, too. Went out one by one. Beginning at the eldest, even unto the last, and Yahweh Shai was left alone, and the woman standing in their midst. So this is showing you how humble we got to be, that what, hey, man, we all messed up, man, we all fucked up, you know, so what? We have to show mercy, all right? We tell our brothers to repent and sin not, man. Like Hamashak Yahweh go and sin no more, all right? He does without sin, let him cast the first stone at her. So he said, he still said, bust her upside the damn head. But that applies only to them that, that don't have no sin. So only Hamashiach Yahweh was without sin to have the power to destroy that woman. All right? And he showed grace. Okay? He never said don't keep the law. He even was teaching the law even when he said this. He said, let, hey, he that's without sin, let him cast the first stone at her, man. He has the power to kill her. So it's showing you Hamashiach Yahweh had the power to, uh, to destroy this woman, and he had mercy on her, man. See that? That's how we got to be in this thing of ours, man. All right? We got to show mercy to our brothers and we tell them to repent. That's the best way to show mercy, man. Telling you to repent from your sins and keep the commandments. Again, he stooped down, wrote on the ground, right? It says, and they which heard it, being convicted by their own conscience, went out one by one, beginning at the elders, even unto the last. And Yahweh Shai was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. And when Yahweh Shai had lifted up himself, he saw none but the woman and said unto her, Woman, where are those thine accusers? Have no man condemned thee? She said, No man, Lord. And Jesus, my shock, Yahweh Shai said unto her, Neither do I can condemn thee. I'm not going to use the law of Moses to destroy you, but that don't mean the law of Moses is done away with, man. They said the, uh, uh, that the, um, the law commanded us to be stoned. Now, the law on stoning has been done away with. Yes, the law on stoning has been done away with. None of us, because none of us had the power to actually execute and stone somebody because all of us fall short according to our own works, right? This is why Lord Yahweh said he only had the power to destroy that woman, all right? Because everybody was going the hell off, all right? Following the multitude, all right? So he came with truth and grace, all right? This is how you teach the uh 
the law of Moses without being under the ministration of death, man. She said, no man, Lord. And Yahweh said unto her, neither do I condemn thee. So he's showing her mercy through the new covenant. And then he's telling you to keep the law of Moses right here. Go and sin no more. Do what? Go and sin no more. No, I'm, I'm under grace. I, go and sin no more. All right. So the Lord, Yahweh Shah told the woman that was caught in adultery, according to the law of Moses, to don't, don't keep breaking the law of Moses and go and commit an adultery. Go and sin no more. But I'm not going to condemn you this time, but go and sin no more, man. He didn't tell her to just have faith only, man. Do your homework on he ain't say, well, just believe, sis. Nah, man. He said, go and sin no more. All right? So you do have to have an action about yourself, man. The scriptures tell you, you got to know how to uh, sanctify your vessel, man. You do have to sanctify this body. You can't use this body for fornication. All right? So Hamashiach Yahweh said, he that is without sin, let him cast the first stone among her. Showing you, you can stone somebody. He was saying, you know, he was still teaching law, but he was just showing that y'all don't have the power to execute those judgments, man, because you fall short. See that? Not that it's done away with, because he obviously told her, don't, 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 don't continue to be adulterer. All right, commit adultery. All right, adulteress, slack ya. Go and sin no more. All right? We don't. We don't stone our people. We tell them to go and sin no more. That's what we're doing now, man. We're just telling you to go and sin no more. We're not telling you to uh, <laughs> bust them upside the damn head, man. All right? Because obviously we're going to go to the law and show you that laws that you should keep even though uh, you don't stone somebody. Let's get Leviticus. Um, Leviticus 20 and 27. A man... Also, or a woman that have a familiar spirit. See that? So can now, so since we're not under the law of Moses, like people get confused, which is talking about uh, stoning people, right? We're not under stoning people, right? So can can a man or a woman have a familiar spirit or, or be wizards now? Are we allowed to be wizards? No, we're not allowed to be a wizard. All right? But can you go stone a wizard? See that? You jakes don't go stone these people that's... uh. You know, doing all these rituals and stuff. But you know that it's wrong to go do all those rituals and stuff. See where we going? Showing you the law, uh, the action of, of, of not committing those uh, offenses is not done away with. Just the, the punishment of those offenses is done away with according to the flesh. So just the spirit judge it now. All right. So now the most high just going to get you. All right. And when he gets you, he going to get you. All right. Scripture says, because a sense against an evil work is not executed speedily, the heart of the sons of man is set to do evil. So the Lord is going to judge that situation, whether it be ASAP or, or uh, long. All right. So we're supposed to stall wizards according to our law. Do we do that? No. Can you be a wizard? No. Showing you still got to keep the law of Moses. All right. We have uh, Leviticus 14 and... Uh, Leviticus 24 and 16 And he that blaspheme in the name of the Lord He shall surely be put to death All the congregation shall cer certainly stone him So can we blaspheme the name of the Lord Since we're not under the law of Moses Certainly not Alright so showing you You can't stone a brother for blaspheming the name of the Lord How many of you brothers ever stoned a man For blaspheming the name of the Lord Nobody See that Showing you we're not under that But we still can't Blaspheme the name of the Lord show you we got to keep the commandments even though we don't stone one another. Okay? So you can't just go off and just start blaspheming the Lord because you think you're not under the law of Moses. No, you're not under the law of Moses to where you're able to punish and stone somebody and bash them upside their damn head. We're not under that. That's the old covenant. And the new covenant, the Lord just judged it, man. All right? As far as the punishments, only the Lord execute the punishments according to the new covenant. All right, but even uh, hey man, you know, and they was bugging out on Paul. They stoned Paul in this thing of ours, man. Did not Paul get stoned? <laughs> All right, by those Israelites in the old covenant. All right, and they wasn't even uh sinless, man, and they stoned Paul. So really, according to the law, they're murderers. So is the law uh -oh. on a, a murderer stoning a brother that ain't did no wrong done away with? No, that law ain't done away with. 
I could have got that one too. I think I'm gonna get it. Look, uh, Numbers chapter. Uh, 35 verse 17, and if a man smite him with a throwing stone wherewith he may die, and he die, he is a murderer. The murderer shall surely be put to death. So this is talking about stoning somebody that ain't did no wrong, man. All right? So the Lord says you're a damn murderer, man, hurting innocent people. All right? Now, but when somebody's wicked <laughs> and, and, and they was going off, they were, they were to be stoned under Moses, man, because we had... We had our uh, our own land and heritage, man. So we was ex able to execute actual punishments. Just like in the government and Esau system, they got the power to execute uh, uh, that uh, administration of death on you. Esau can hit you with the lethal ejection, give you life. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all that. Hit you with the electric chair. These are death penalties, man. See that? When you're in rulership, you have the power to execute death penalties. We don't execute death penalties because we're not in rulership, man. See that? This is why, what, the Gentiles, they are able to execute death penalties. Just like the uh, Ishmaelites over in their land, they're able to execute death penalties according to their laws. Because they have a kingdom, man. Right? We're not executing those punishments because, what, we don't have a physical kingdom. We have a spiritual one. Our physical com one is coming, baby. All right? And that's why we, we can't do these things, man. All right, so let's get uh some more. It says, uh, he that blasphemeth the name of the Lord shall surely be put to death, and all the congregation shall certainly stone him. So don't we have to still keep the law on not blaspheming the name of the Lord? The scripture says if you blaspheme the Holy Spirit, you don't have forgiveness. Not in this world or the world to come. So even in this world, they didn't forgive you for blaspheming the name of the Lord. Neither in the world to come are it's, it's going to be forgiven. See that? So even if the Gentiles start blaspheming, when we come into power and they don't want to, uh, they don't want the Lord to rule over them. They're gonna be destroyed. They might just get stoned, and Israelites. <laughs> All right, <laughs> but right now we not we don't do that, man. So let's get some more laws that we have to keep. That says uh, if you break it, you get stoned. Leviticus twenty and two. Again, thou shalt say to the children of Israel, whosoever he be of the children of Israel or the strangers that sojourneth in Israel, right? That give any of his seed unto Moloch. So can you give your seed unto Moloch now? Obviously, we can't do that. We still got to keep the commandments and not follow Moloch, right? We can't give our children to Moloch. He shall surely be put to death. The people of the land shall stone him with stones. See that? We're not in the land to be stoning people with stones, man. And uh, Mashiach said, he that is without sin, let him cast the first stone, right? So the Lord know we all fell short, so we can't we can't keep that no more. But we still don't uh, uh, follow and give our seed unto damn Moloch and worship wizards and start blaspheming. You still have to what, uh, mortify your flesh, man. You still got to control your flesh. All right. Sanctify your vessel in honor. OK, no wizards. Wizards are supposed to be stoned. Do you stone a wizard? No. Is it lawful to be a wizard? Will, will you teach it's OK to be a wizard now? No. Now, let's go to some more. Let's get a. Let's get another one. Where we want to go, where we want to go. Do I got. Um, let's see. I think that's it. I think that might be it. That's it. Okay. So these are the laws on stoning people, man. It's crystal clear. You know, we stone wizards, uh, you know, people that uh, murder their brother with stones for no reason, too, and for blaspheming in the name of the Lord, man. All right? Still got to keep those commandments, man. You can't blaspheme in the name of the Lord. You can't be a wizard. You can't uh, uh, give your seed to Moloch. See that? So just because you can't stone somebody, do that make it okay to to follow Moloch, blaspheme in the name of the Lord? No, it don't. Showing you the law is still valid. We're just not able to do the ministration of death a part of it, which is what? Execute the judgments. So with that, I'll pray to you. Shalom.